All right, to use the widget library in Corona SDK, the only thing you have to do is, well, not the only thing, but the first thing you have to do is to tell Corona that you want to use the widget library, and you do that with this line here, local widget equals require widget. And now after that, you can do things like uh, table view equals widget dot new table view and everything else. Uh, however, there is something that you can do that's a little bit different because there are two ways to include the widget library into your program. The first one is this way right here. The second way is to use the open source version of the widget library. That's what I prefer to do, partly because the widget library that's inside of Corona SDK is only updated for the starter people every time they put out a new public version. Now, if you have the pro version, then you can get the daily builds and, and so on. Uh, but for example, they just fixed a bunch of new bugs in the widget library, and they haven't put out a new version of Corona SDK yet of the framework that you can download outside of the daily builds, but they are putting those fixes here in the widget library that you can download. Okay, so to get the widget library that you can download, that's the one I recommend that you use, it's on GitHub. So go to github.com slash Corona Labs, and then just scroll down and look for Framework Widgets. So you're going to click that, and it's going to take you to this page. And this page actually changed very recently, so by the time you get to this page, it might look a little different, but here's what you're going to be looking for. Uh, this right here, download zip. Before it was up here in the top area, now it's down here. When you see this video, not sure where it's going to be, but look for download zip. So just click that button, it will download a zip file. After it's down, unzip it, and you will end up with a set of files something like this. The one that you want is widget library. You probably want some of these for some other things, but just to get started, you want widget library and let me show you where you put that this is a project folder and there's build.settings config.lua main.lua and this is where I have widget library so I've just actually copied this whole folder here not the folder you download the folder you download has all of this in it inside that though is widget library and that's what you copy into your actual project okay now to use that Back over your source code, it's just a little bit different. Now you're going to do widget library dot widget. Now remember, when you're doing a require here, the dot is actually the same thing as a slash to say that there is a folder. Uh, but because of how Lua works, it needs to be a dot. So what you're saying is widget is now not the built-in widget, but it's look inside of this folder and use this file. And if we look inside that folder here, you'll see that there is a widget.lua, and that's what's actually going to be pulled in. So once you have that in your project, and you can see over here in, uh, I'm using Outlaw, I've got it just pulled into the project here. Once you have it in your project, uh, all you have to do is make this line read something like that. And now you can do all of the widget things like normal, but you're actually pulling the widget code from this widget library folder.